we get that glitter to stick? This is a good problem to have. Most people are asking, how do I get the glitter to come off? <laughs> there are ways we can be successful at this. I know a whole bunch of different methods. I'm gonna walk you through each one and we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons and the be careful moments and what it is that we need to do to get that glitter to stick. Glitter can stick to anything wet, sticky, oily, whatever it is. So the glitter can stick to the paint. It can stick to a substrate that we put on specifically for the glitter to stick to, or it can stick to the skin. If it's a warm day and kids are sweaty, we're not gonna have any problem at all getting that glitter to stick. If we want to stick it to the paint, if we want it to stick a little, use our fingertips and brush it on. If we do this at the end, it's great because we're not going to be smudging or smearing anything. We can put exact colors where the paint actually is. So it's a wonderful method. A lot of glitter will fall. And so there'll just be a little bit of sparkle left after a while, uh, but it's awesome for the pictures. It is really fast, it's easy. It's as simple as just dipping your finger in the glitter and touching it onto the face paint. If we want a lot of glitter to stick, then we need to do it when the paint is wet. So we can sparkle right after we paint or we can re-wet the paint. And the first way is we can take a poofer bottle, just like this one, and we pull off the top and we go to that paint. And just by squeezing, you can see that glitter, my hand is super sparkly in three little puffs. So we can just puff on right after we put the base paint on. And that's great. Now, here are the drawbacks to that. We don't have as much control over where the color is going. Sometimes it might get close to the eyes. And if a kid opens their eyes while we're poofing, that's like even worse. And then we're going to end up needing to paint our line work on top of glitter. I feel like my lines don't flow quite as well. It just looks like it's the tiniest bit out of focus. If this isn't something that bothers you, then this is an awesome way to do it. It gets you really good, intense glitter coverage and it can be super fun. If we want to wait and we want to do our line work on top of paint that doesn't have glitter, we can do a spritz with water and then follow it immediately with the glitter. And this can be a little intense. I always tell the kids it's coming so that it's not too scary, but it rewets the paint just enough to get it to grab that glitter and it lets it be super sparkly. We still aren't able to spot sparkle, but we are able to do line work first and then glitter. And so that can be really pretty. Now, if we didn't like using our fingertips, we can just take one of our sponges and cut it down so that we have this little sponge. And this can allow us to spot sparkle and we can spritz this, make sure it's not too wet. And then we can just dab it on our sparkle and look how much sparkle that picked up. Now I have a tiny bit of damp on my sponge and I've got sparkle here and I can go directly onto the paint now. And this isn't wet enough where it's going to smear, but it is wet enough to be able to lay down that color. And I can get that color just where I want it. It's, you can see it lays down a lot of glitter, but it's not going to be as risky of spritzing it in the kid's eyes or something like if we're poofing the whole face. Okay, let's look at when we want it to stick to the substrate. This is anytime we use a waxy substance or a gel substance to get the glitter to stick. You can look at Silly Farm, you can look at Just Paint, and you can look at their different options. And you can get a plain one that's just clear, or you can get one that already has the glitter mixed in. You can get fine glitter mixed in, you can get chunky glitter mixed in. It's where we just grab some on our finger or on an applicator and just smear it on. If we're using a waxy substrate, we can put it right on top of paint and it's not gonna bother it too much. If we want to use a gel substrate, then we wanna keep it directly on the skin. And that can be really awesome for putting on the opposite side of the face from our design and making our designs bigger. It really makes them pop. Now, if we want, we can take a gel sparkle base and we can add spot sparkle within that. So anytime we add additional sparkle on top of a gel, it works great. Now, if you want to try this before you go out and you buy a whole bunch of new product, just grab a plain bland chapstick to go over your design to just see if that sparkle is really something that you really love in adding that to your designs. Lip gloss is another excellent substrate uh, that we can put on the lips and then we can do puff 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 and get a glitter lip and once a kid looks in the mirror and they've got the sparkly lips and the face paint to them that says glitter 
Next, we want to look at the skin. So think oil, think sweat, anytime those are present, that glitter is going to stick to that skin. If we have a really hot day and we've got the design on the face, but we know that it's not going to last super well, glitter can be an awesome way to make the design pop and make the value last a little better. We've still got all of the edges around the hairline and different things that we can get our little poofer. And that can be great as a way of leveling up, really taking glitter to add it wherever we want to that isn't just on the design. Looking for other areas to sparkle directly on the hair or if you have a little hairspray, hairspray real quick and then do your poofs of glitter and that glitter is going to stick around, at least some of it, and it's gonna be amazing. And so how we get that glitter to stick is just something that goes by knowing what we're sticking it to and what type of glitter we're trying to use to stick it and then making it happen. But remember, every single piece of glitter does not need to stick in order for that face to sparkle. 